colors that we're going to be focusing on, obviously, is going to be here. Um, there is colors here if you want to paint um, Jonah, but we're not doing that. You know me. I'd rather paint the model kit than the little figure. However, I have decided to make a change. Because I've been always using um, lacquer base paints and semi lacquer base paints like um, um, Mr. Hobby. I decided to change it up. This entire kit will be painted in Vic Hobby paints. Something that you guys are probably have not uh, prepared, you know, probably thought I was not going to use some, you know, other paints. But Vic Hobby, I've been having, I've been collecting all these Vic Hobby paints um, that uh, I bought from Hobbyland Japan for a long time. And I think it's about time, too, that I start using this. Now, these are water based paints. I am not going to be using any type of thinner because I've tested these and these don't work with standard lacquer based thinners. This is all water based. Um, I may run into problems. Who knows? I don't know. But I think it's about time I tried this on a Master Grade. Now, of course, this little white paint uh, is how many milliliters? Um, 12 milliliters. I could probably be use up, using up the entire, one, the entire bottle for the entire white kit. But clearly, there's, there's multiple layers of colors here. So we're going to begin with white. That's going to be that. The dark blue. The only closest uh, one I got is something called deck blue. Now I'm going to be testing this to see if that's appropriate for this. So we'll put that there for now. Then we have the dark grays. I didn't get... I'm trying to see if I had a dark gray. What I found was German field gray, but I think that has a greenish tint to it. I don't know. Uh, put that to the side. What I do have is gunmetal. But the gun, so I think that gray, dark gray part may be for the inner frame. Because there's another gray part here. And I don't know which one is it. I don't know if it's... Well, I do see some extra parts detail under this but we can probably get away with using this the next one is light gray and I have a couple of choices here I have chrome silver which is good for detailing highlighting maybe like the thrusters some detail parts inside the, the chest area because this thing is going to have a lot of exposed parts inside um, that could be a possibility. Or I could use light ghost gray. And now that I'm talking out loud, let me look at it a bit. Ooh, light ghost gray has a bit of an intermittent blue tone to it. It's good for this, but maybe not good enough. Let me look at this chrome. I gotta mix it up a bit. I don't think this is—I don't think this chrome is going to be as reflective as what you normally find on on uh, test on uh, Tamiya. Um, yeah, Tamiya paints. But this is very, very wet. You can barely even see what's inside. I had a brush nearby. Reflectiveness to it. Hmm. Maybe I'm not fond of it. We'll put that to the side. Also, 
clearly if I can't use no all the Vic paints, I'll have to use, you know, other paints as well. But let's keep them to the side here. I do have others which have been pulled to the side. Let's see, dark Vietnam, Vietnam colors, uh, blue, concrete gray. Let's see how that is. This is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. We could use concrete gray for this. Let me just put that away. Right there. Um, I don't, let me see here. Flanker blue. German uniform gray. Maybe yeah, not a good idea. But It is what it is. We'll figure this out. The red, this has a bit of a russet color tone. So I have a couple of reds here. I have standard insignia red, Russian navy deck red, and then we have the leather red. The leather red, let's see how that looks. Uh, yeah, that looks very leathery. Oh, the Russian red. I gotta mix that. Let's mix both of these just in case. Mm. Close, 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 close. What about this one? Oh, kind of like almost similar to this. We'll keep the insignia red there for now. Yellow, I have standard yellow, so that's easy to check. And then we have the cobalt blue. I have standard blue. I don't have cobalt. But I think that should be good enough for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing another gray tone. And clearly the green is just center green, so I don't think I need to worry about that. And I'll be priming this kit using the Vicavi's uh, water-based primer and see how, it, how well it works. Let's see, I do have some other Vicavi paints. Let me check. Uh, aluminum. Aluminum is a little bit more stronger than the chrome, so that could be a good alternative. Uh, I got United States Navy Haze Gray. Let's shake that model. Actually, that gray is not bad. I think I like this one, this Haze Gray. Uh, concrete Gray? Sorry. Let's see here. Even though I have white, I have something called aircraft white. This could be an eggshell tone. Yeah, there's a bit of a yellowish tone to it. Let's see here. I have desert pink. Clearly, there's no pink in here. Tire black. I could use black as an alternative for the gray. Uh, whole red, I think I mentioned that before. Light rust. Imperial Japanese Navy Arsenal. What's that? That's actually really good. We'll keep that there. 
and the intermediate blue, which I mentioned, which I don't think will be required for this. Okay, we have quite a selection of paints here that we can use for this. And if we have to pull something out of the out of the um, what do you call it out of Mr. Hobby or whatever, we'll do so. But I think yeah, we'll be using the Vic Hobby paints and see how it works. I'll be doing some testing on some spoons just to make sure they look nice. Also, this will tie in with the fact that the summer sale is happening at Hobbyland Japan right now and uh, you can probably pick up some good Vic paints on sale over there at Happy Link. So uh, head on over. I'll put a link on, on this video so you guys can head on over and uh, select something. Give me some, you know, help, help out the algorithm with me. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I got all these paints ready to go. Let us begin building Master Grade Narrative Gundam CPAC version Katoki. So next month, if all goes according to plan, I believe I'll be getting my hands on the Sinanju Stein narrative version, Master Grade, which obviously we already had a Sinanju Stein narrative version. But this one, which we all remember last year, or was it this year? They showed off the parts and gimmicks and stuff, it is a completely, utterly new kit. I built this in Energy Stein High Grade when it first came out and I was like, hmm, I really like that. The kit was really good to build. Could have done better with the painting though. I know I messed. I think I messed up on something last year. I don't, was it last year? Actually, many years ago. Put that in there. Let's also put that there as well. And I was not thinking of getting it when it was first announced. Is that a redone? You know, I'm talking about. Probably gonna be stickers and all that stuff or marking and yeah, um, um, plastic parts that will show off the um, the sleeves emblem. But I do when we saw the final uh, look of it, where now uh, you have the, the trim parts separate from the main part. And I go, wow, they're, they're really going at it with that. Which is a cool thing to see. Um, there's that new... Oh, that new kit that just been announced, but that's coming out, I believe, in December, November. Sorry, I'm checking at this moment right now. Uh, it's called the Black Knight Squad Kauri A mobile suit uh, mo um, from the Freedom uh, movie. And that kit's um, right now going to come out. When will it come out? In October. Sorry, in October. And that has gold trim parts, but no stickers. It's you know one layer on top of another, so you can paint it separately. 
you don't have to deal with with stickers or, or decals or do a reverse wash. I mean, I remember uh, for a long time many people were were you know showing off their reverse wash technique on this kit, and uh, sure enough, um, it worked. But you got to be very, very patient on that. I tried to do it, and I made some errors on on my part. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie on that. That that is true. But with the new San Andreas sign, um, you don't have to worry about reverse wash anymore. Now it's basically um, the sleeve parts are its own separate uh, parts right there. Now I will say this though. If they're going to be, if Bandai begins doing something like that, can Bandai do a 2.0 of the Sinanju and do the same thing? Maybe correct a few things that that the original needed to work on. I know that there's the the OVA version, and then there's the um, uh, version Katoki. That is a darker color that goes there. Um, I, I built the OVA version. I know that the, the um, I've heard that the version Katoki has some problems with the knees. And it was corrected with the um, OVA kit. Okay, that's darker. Okay, good, good. Just want to make sure I have it. Okay, that is a much lighter gray compared to this. This goes with this. And then this is the... Um, There's the uh, activated, um, what do you call it? I completely forgot about that. Psycho frame. And this is the deactive, I believe this could be the deactivated psycho frame. These are the white parts. These are the gray. This, okay, so we have. Wow, didn't think about that. Didn't even. Now that you're looking at it in front of yourself. Okay, white. Got that. Um dark very very not dark blue more it's more charcoal color we have the navy blue here <laughs> one of the white parts came off so that goes there okay um navy blue light um light blue which obviously is only very few parts yellow and the clear um we have the red right here I'm gonna put that there. Now the the three gray we have three grays. We have dark gray, we have medium gray, and we have light gray, which almost feels like a maybe a light bluish gray tone to it. Let me look at that manual again. So this one, the light gray, is 20% violet, 20% RML 75 gray, and a drop of purple-ish. Yeah, I kind of, I can see that. Okay. Then the next tone, which is this, is gray, and that is 85% gray, 15% black. Okay. Then we have this color, which is dark gray, hold on a second, if that's dark gray, it doesn't make any sense, because then what the hell is all this? I can't be that blind. This is all inner frame parts. 
this is the dark gray RML 75 gray 70% wine red 30 a black 30% with a drop of wine red but this and this I don't know if you guys can see this in the light, but this one a different lighter tone than this. And yet, we have one, two, three, four, and this dark blue is meant for that. Hmm. <laughs> One would argue, maybe we should make that gray, and then the plating metallic. I'm trying to avoid metallic on everything, just only on what I think would re require it. The, let me, let me go here, on this page. Yeah, like this one right here, these parts, that shows like a deact the parts that are the uh, for this should be the deactivated one. I think I want to make that like a chrome metallic type setup, but not chrome, more like like graphite. I had like the burnt metal color that sorry, the burnt metal color paint, the one that you spray on and then you use a brush. Not a brush, yeah, maybe a brush, but more like a um, a towel or a napkin, and begin wiping it off so you could see the brilliance under uh, under it. That would be perfect for that. But since I'm only using Vic paints, we're gonna be utilizing what we have. Okay. With that being said, let's get these parts onto a tray. Nice. All right, here are all the colors already been removed from their tree. Dark charcoal, or dark gray, or dark, you could say charcoal, or near and near black. Medium, a uh, darker gray, medium gray, light gray, white, red, cobalt blue, yellow, and navy blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine color choices. This is a lot of parts. A tremendous amount of parts for a kit that does not have a backpack or an extra weaponry, only a shield and a gun and extra parts to make a different type of gun, but not too much. But boy, I was completely and utterly surprised how many parts that we are seeing here for this very few white yeah I mean this is an ample amount of white and ample amount of this but when you see this you're thinking okay there's the inner frame but then you have this and I'm like oh boy this is gonna be that's gonna be a mixture of that that and that not to mention the, this we have the clear parts right here beam saber picks parts there uh, I was a bit surprised now looking at all this and a little taken back I'm saying to myself I'm, am I building a perfect grade seriously I'm not gonna understand why it has a nice little $75 uh, price tag on it if you get it here but Gundam Planet has it and uh, or will have it soon so make sure you pre-order it. I'm gonna have a hard time <laughs> thinking how I'm gonna build. Not building isn't the problem. It's basically the process of painting it. Cause I have a distinct feeling I'm gonna have to paint each individual part. But we're gonna put it together and see what we can get away with and what we can work with. So give me some time to remove all the nub marks, clean sand. That's gonna take a long time, and then we'll move on.